Well, it's uh, 1002 already. K O O P HD1 HD3 Hornsby. That's right. I need to remind you. And this is K O O P 91.7 FM on your broadcast dial. And we're streaming worldwide off our homepage at KOP.org. Well, we want to honor Hewlin Duvall here this morning. Uh, his birthday is coming up in three days. Born 1939 in Garner, Texas. And, uh, he was here uh, not too long ago, I think this past year, uh, did a show in South Austin, wasn't able to make it, and uh, but a couple of years ago, uh, Len Brown and I uh, were kind of hanging around with him. He was doing some shows, and Mike Buck brought him, and, uh, and uh, that was very exciting, meeting him and getting to speak with him a little bit. But we've got somebody on the line from Germany, and we're going to bring him up here in just a minute. Let's maybe do a little little song comparison here that's uh, and uh, we'll be right back with our caller all the way from berlin germany here on koop radio under the x in texas with your host ted bronson be right back don't go away now All right, back here on uh, Under the X in Texas. And we'll see if we can bring our caller over here. In here. Hey, Long John, are you with us this morning? Yes. All right, all the way from where? <laughs> uh, Berlin, Germany, that is. Far, far away. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing how good it sounds. A little bit of an echo there, but you sound great this morning. Thanks for calling in. Oh, yeah. Thanks for letting me on. Yeah, I mean, I was surprised that you guys didn't have more uh, United States coverage on your Long John and his Ballroom Kings uh, uh-huh. music. Uh-huh. Uh, you guys have been around for a while now, haven't you? Oh, yeah. I- I'm doing this for the last 40 years. I started with Rockabilly. So the first legends I met was from the uh, 50s, actually, not 40s. The older I, I got, the ma- mature I got, and... Rockabilly kind of faded away, and jive and jazz and swing dropped in, and uh, well, it's, nowadays it's it's a mix of everything, I guess. Yeah, I, I see that by these recordings that you sent over, and um, you guys also do a Billy Jack Wills kind of tribute thing as well, too, don't you? Yeah, 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 absolute, absolute, absolute. I see. Uh, I see. You got Wills is on 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 my A list. Actually, not on everyone, uh, every musicians from the band, but um, yeah, it's it's in every band. You have a mix. Some likes blues or Tex Max or I don't know uh, beat music and. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, well, that all fits in my format here, I can tell you. <laughs> all the root stuff, and it's all under the Ameripolitan music umbrella now, too, you know. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, absolutely. you spent some time here in Austin uh, back in the 90s, too, didn't you? Yeah, mid-90s, that was, uh, uh, I uh, I met, um, actually, I booked Dale Watson, because I had, uh, I was a promoter here in Berlin, had my own club, yeah. so I uh, booked Dale Watson. And we we became friends, uh, and uh, I think a year later, uh, I was living uh, at the apartment uh, with uh, Jim Leslie, the bass player, oh, yeah. left-handed bass player, and um, well, so it's 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 a small world, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it sure is. <laughs> and you know another friend, uh, Roland. Yeah. Who yeah. Roland Rich, I guess. It, yeah. Yeah. His Facebook name, anyway, and he was here, uh, and he came on the show here and had his lovely wife and the kids with him, and I'm thinking that might have been already five years ago already, but... but uh, well, uh, he was in and out in Austin quite often. Yeah. They, they had, uh, I just had a particular year in, I think, 95, 96, that, six that was. I was living at Lake Austin, but uh, Roland, he came in and out, and in and out, and in and out, uh, for the record convention and people mm-hmm. to meet, and he's much better with promotion than myself. He he knows all the people from the radio broadcast stations, and you know all over from from here to Austin to Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a real pro. <laughs> I know they had talked <laughs> about this. moving to California at one time, and uh, yeah, he, we were actually going to do a Bear Family radio uh, show. Uh, you mm-hmm. know they have their internet thing, and so he was set yeah. set me up on that and uh, got some stuff, but it just never uh, 
never transpired. I, I don't know if he quit working for him, but anyway, it was, it was all good. Yeah. And yeah, that's, that's great. He's, <laughs> you're right. Oh, he was a good it, promoter. Like said, it's a small world. Uh, Roland was here last year in May when we, um, welcomed, uh, Julian Duval for, for a show here in Berlin, Germany. And Richard Weitzer, the, the, the label owner of the former label owner of, uh, Bear Family Records was here to discuss, uh, a new, uh, album with Julian Duval. And that is out on a CD now, actually. And this started in my backyard here in Berlin. Oh, oh fantastic. <laughs> kind, of, kind of crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. I'll, have to, I'll have to hunt that down. Yeah, I mean, I played. Uh, I just played Pucker Paint, you know, f from 1957. Uh, uh -huh. But uh, that's... The Nashville uh, version. Yeah, oh. it's on a Sunday's uh, compilation here. It came out yeah, in yeah, the yeah, 90s. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's all cool stuff. Well, how did uh, you all uh, hook up with Hewland? Because you've got a couple of songs here you cut with them that you gave me. Oh, yeah. I know Hewland since uh, 2002. Uh, a friend of mine, uh, a promoter from uh, Munich, Germany, called me. Uh, his name is Klaus, Klaus Kettner. Maybe heard his name or hmm. know his uh, uh, reissue record label called um, Hydra Records. He's with He, he's publishing uh, Bill Haley stuff, Boyd Bennett, Bill Haley and Comets, and this kind of jivey stuff. And he had Yulin Duval uh, on a show, on a live show, on a festival at the Munich Rockabilly Festival number, I don't know. And uh, he was asking me to uh, back Yulin with my band, and uh, so we did. And... Uh, It was uh, we we started a friendship. We stayed in contact over the years, and I think it was 2014 we met again in France, and we played together, and then we recorded uh, one song, the first song, uh, a jiving version of Carl Perkins' Blue Suede Shoes. Yeah, and so the friendship was taken on till last year when we uh, recorded uh, uh, and published uh, Pucker Paint. But this is actually a version of uh, Danny Wolfer, his, his buddy, I mean, Yulin's uh, buddy from, from the 50s. Mm. And this is not the country, country kind of hillbilly mm -hmm. uh, rocker. It's more or less a jive, rock and rollish saxophone groove, I would say. Yeah, cool. Because yeah. you've got the uh, a nice horn section and a fairly large band that uh, you're keeping going here. Well, the smallest is a sextet and only has uh, a trumpet, but we try to uh, have a solid groove with uh, two saxophones, a, a baritone and a tenor, uh, to have that. Uh, let's, I call it carpet, a carpet I can walk on. It's it's really solid. Cool. Well, we'll give it a play, play. we'll give it a spin here, then we'll talk some more. But I right. uh, wanted to make sure to let folks know in case they did just tune in that we're on the phone to Berlin, Germany, with. Uh, can I give out your real name or no? <laughs> <laughs> um, You'd rather my not. Real name? Yeah, Johannes. Johannes Sebastian Strauss. Strauss, and, and like the King of Wolves. <laughs> and your band oh, Levi's jeans if you want to say so <laughs> <laughs> and your band is Long John and is Ballroom Kings you got a website it's ballroomkings.de is that yes. correct you're on Facebook Reverb Nation you got some great YouTubes out there too okay thanks thank you yeah well let's give Pucker Payne a spin and we'll talk right. we'll talk some more and we'll we can uh, and then we'll play Blue Suede Shoes how's that uh, great <laughs> Okay, so hold on, and we'll be right back. Alrighty. Be right okay. back here. I know you're listening too. You said, "Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> cool." All right, here we go. Yeah, there you have it. And we have on the phone with us uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Johannes Long John, who was singing that, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a duet with Yulin, actually. Yes. We uh, decided to kind of do a real duet, not 
him, him one verse and me one verse, so we kind of totally mixed it to be more wild, you know, not straighten, uh, straighten out. So I wanted like a little crazy. So it's mm-hmm. real. You sing some, I sing some, and we sing it together, and whatever comes up, you know, to make it like a real life recording. Oh actually. yeah, yeah, and uh, great guy on the piano there. Is that Casey Miller? No, that's um, um, uh, Christian Weichert. Oh. <laughs> that's his name. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, great. Well, that sure sounded good. Good old rockabilly there. Oh, thank you, thank you. And I know rockabilly is really popular over there too, in uh, Germany and the adjoining countries. I know, isn't it? Yeah, it's all over in in Italy and Spain, and of course uh, in England. It's very big in England. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we just uh, I just played uh, Rock and Bonnie's uh, one of her new yeah. new songs, yeah. and we got we got Don good. Diego Trio too. I know they're over in Italy. Yeah, Countryside of Harmonica Sam. All these cats have been over here, man. We hope you uh, can secure a nomination for a Meripolitan. Hint, hint. Okay, that sounds <laughs> fantastic. That'd be something to do anyway, and uh, so. Well, uh, if folks just tuned in, we need to let them know that we're on the phone here with uh, Johanna Sebastian Strauss, a.k.a. Long John and his Ballroom Kings. And uh, we've uh, been honoring uh, Hewlin Duvall's uh, birthday as well. I-, I know they just did a rockabilly show here in town where um, he was with uh, Rudy Grizel, too, I think. Yes, yeah. And uh, I wasn't able to make it. I was actually in the hospital at the time, but I've seen photos. Oh. And, boy, it sounded like wasn't, a great time. Yeah, wasn't that at the Continental? Uh, yeah, the Continental, and then actually there was somewhere down on the Elmo, uh, I can't remember actually the name oh, of the okay. club. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, they, I think they, they probably followed up over there, but I know it was, uh, okay. at another venue. Is, uh, Jenny's Little Big Longhorn still up? Uh, yes, it's a Little Longhorn Saloon now. Jenny is retired, but, uh, oh. <laughs> the, the club is still going strong. Yes, indeed. Yeah, you bet. Cool, cool. Yeah, yep, things are going on. Broken spoke still happening, and, uh. And um, a lot of, uh, probably uh, a few places left here since you've been here, probably, I'm sure. Uh, well, uh-huh. um, all right, we've got another song here I wanted to play for sure. You talked a little bit about it, the uh, Blue Suede Shoes. Now, oh, yes. Now, this is with Hewlin as well? Yes, yes. It's, a, it's, a, it's more a straight and do it. Yeah, now, um, you, this stuff, uh, I know you uh, is on the vinyl, right? Now, do you, you have actual yes. CDs as well, too? Uh, no, it's only compilations we're on. Uh, I prefer to put my music on on on, on the real stuff. I mean, oh vinyl. yeah, yeah. Blues we choose us on on black vinyl, and the new one with Pucker Payne. We just been uh, listening to that's on transparent mm. green vinyl, like uh, uh, back in 1948 when when they all started with uh, uh, colored vinyl. So yeah. I thought, why not to make it green? Oh yeah, yeah, that's fantastic, and because uh, in the Austin Record Convention is coming up too, it's uh, still going strong here. Uh, oh, cool! I think he's Good back. To hear that. Yeah, Good back to, hear to that. yeah, they're back to doing it. I think twice a year, so that's always a wonderful uh, event that brings in you know, well, you know, a lot of stuff and uh, a lot of musicians uh, come to that. So tip of the hat to them for sure. For <laughs> oh yeah, I found Keep, l- l- many records there. When yeah. I was Awesome. Yeah, <laughs> I know. A good, very good place. It's been over. Thir- I really thir- can recommend this. It's been over thirty years now. Yeah, and I, oh, yeah. I must say, Doug is our uh, daughter's godfather. Yeah, uh-huh. uh, she's getting married a week from Sunday. I, I can know. I keep saying that. It's got nothing to do with what we're talking about. But anyway, so okay. okay. Talking about birthdays. Are you going over to Ulins? Eighteenth. Uh, it's on the nineteenth. Where is that? Or nineteenth? No, eighteenth, isn't it? Oh uh, yeah, I I'm not sure. To be honest with you, yeah. Oh okay. His birthday you know, is the moved, 18th. Right? You know yeah. that? Beg your pardon? He moved. You know that? Yes. I knew he had oh, moved. Oh, okay. Okay. But, but I have really know. haven't kept up with him and really haven't uh, conversed with him in quite a while. Okay. Okay. I can keep you posted on this. Yeah, that would be cool. Do, and, and what about his birthday? Is, is you, Do you know about that? Is that happening soon? Or uh, what? It, it's on the 18th. Yeah. As far as I know. Okay. In uh, what? Three days. Yeah. In three days. Is that here in town? I, I guess I feel stupid right now. I don't know. I didn't know about uh, it. He's having no, it's not in Austin. He's living, uh, he used to live, live, let me check, let me check. I'm yeah. sitting right right in front of the computer. Oh, cool, yeah. Uh, 
Well, we'll give uh, Blue Suede Shoes a spin here, and then we'll come right back and talk a little bit more. All right. Okay, okay cool. On the phone with Ber- Berlin, Germany here with uh, Long John and his Ballroom yeah. Kings, Johannes Yeehaw. Sebastian Strauss. Yeah, you got that right. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> You can do anything lay off of my blue suede shoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Long John and his ballroom kings with Hugh and Duvall there. Man, you were right. That is great. Nice steel solo on that too, uh, Johannes. Yeah. Yeah, that's Axel uh, Rosenbauer. We call him Rosebutt. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, we're visiting here on the phone with our our new friend from Berlin, Germany, Johannes Sebastian yeah. Strauss, and uh, featuring his Long John and his Ballroom Kings music, and uh, all this stuff's available and information at ballroomkings.de, and he's on yeah. Facebook and Reverb Nation. You guys do Twitter or any of that stuff too, Instagram? Uh, no, not yet, no. Hey, there's what? a song uh, on here I wanted to ask you about. Uh, what, okay. What is this? You mentioned Austin in it. Uh, what? What's your use, or what is that? What's... Uh, what's your use? Yeah, this is actually a song, <laughs> my <laughs> song, um, uh, original. I wrote this a couple of years ago, and uh, this is actually a demo. This is not on a, on vinyl or... Uh, on a on a on a compilation or anything. This is uh, actually this is a debut on on your radio station, uh, K O O P. If you want to play it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we could go on on that. Uh, we uh, we're really kind of winding it down here. We've still got about a good twenty minutes, twenty five minutes to go here in the show. Um, did you find out that information on Hewlin that we were talking about? Oh yes, 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 yes. Sure. Um, He's living now in uh, Colleyville, wherever that is hmm. in Texas. Colleyville. I'm Have not... you heard that? Yeah. Colleyville. I'm not sure, though. C-O-L-L-I. No. Double L I. Yeah, I'd have to Google that up. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> There's only uh, a million little towns here in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I can uh, I can email you, you his address. Well, and, I know uh, uh, I think he's on Facebook, so um, I, I should have t- tried to tag him and let him know we were talking about him this morning. But uh, yeah, but he's not very often on Facebook. Yeah, on and off. Yeah, yeah. I see. It's been quite a while. It might be better you email him. Yeah, send him an email or something. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're honoring his birthday here a little bit today on the show. Hewland Duvall's coming up in three days, and this has been fun speaking with you. And uh, listening to those two cuts, I know our listeners have loved it. And and uh, thanks for posting on the social media and sharing that you were going to be on here today. I really appreciate it. Well, thank you for letting me on. Uh, all, all these songs uh, that you gave me are just uh, very exciting. Uh, and I certainly love your treatment of all of these classics. And, of course, this one that you wrote. And the, uh-huh. the Rockabye Baby Blues and the, <laughs> the Hey, Mr. Cotton Picker. Boy, it's great. And uh and uh, you, you've obviously uh, been at it a long time, and uh, we certainly hope we can see you over here in Austin, Texas sometime. Well, yeah, my pleasure. Our pleasure. And if uh, you happen to acquire a nomination in, in, uh, for a Maripolitan, I, I believe, I don't know if it's actually been scheduled yet, but uh, it's usually the night of the, the show here, so uh, all the nominees come on in the morning that can make it, and we just have a big party here on the radio. Cool. So you're you're invited. <laughs> well, what time is it over there? Uh, it's five thirty right now. Five thirty in, in the Berlin. evening. Oh wow, two seven seven hours difference or something. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for spending your time with us this morning. We really appreciate it. Well, again, thank you. My pleasure. My pleasure. All right. Ball- very exciting to call Texas and to be on the air. <laughs> yeah, this is great, and it sounds very clear. You sound great, and. Uh, and, of course, uh, information at ballroomkings.de. And, uh, of course, uh, Johannes Sebastian Strauss can be look, uh, on Facebook, too, as well. And, uh, well, all I can say is thank you again and keep it up. Well, I tell you, we need more of this kind of music and more of people like you. 
Okay, thanks. And Thank what you, uh, what inspired you for this song that we're going to play now? What you use? What, how'd that come about? What you use? What you use? I can't say. It just was hitting me, and I put it down on paper, and um, I think it was written in ten minutes. Cool. So <laughs> it was. Yeah. I Those don't know. are the I best no songs. Idea. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I, I've been stealing some melody and some lyrics here and there. I don't know. I have no idea. It was just hitting me. I put it down, and a week later we kind of demo recorded it, and that's it. Yeah. So. Well, I was just going to play Mama Tried by Merle Haggard, too, as well, and I was reading that, and he said he got the first line, and then the whole song just poured out. He said it just yeah. came out all <laughs> in a like that, yeah. couple of minutes. Exactly. You know? <laughs> yeah, there yeah. And a number one hit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well... If you like it, you're welcome. That's right. <laughs> okay. Well, sir, okay. thanks again, and we'll talk again for sure, I, I know. Okay. Thanks for letting me on. Okay. No. All right. Thank you so nice much. Nice talking to you. Okay. Right. Yes, sir. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Yeah, bye-bye. If you're not, I never care a lot. Oh, I'll be your friend. Yes, I'll be your friend. If you have some money to spend. If you don't have any buck, you're out of luck. As someone watches you, if he can't buy your booze. Sing along this song Oh, sing along my song From Austin, Texas to Hong Kong Hong Kong? Yeah, Hong Kong, baby Texas, that is Heard uh, from our guest on the phone, uh, Johanna Sebastian Strauss. We heard uh, him. He is Long John in his Ballroom Kings. Uh, we heard a song he wrote, What You Use. And uh, he mentions Austin in there, all the way from China. And thanks a lot for being on. Calling from Germany. Boy, that sounded great, didn't it? <laughs> I was quite amazed here that uh, you can get such a clear audio from the... Uh, Across the sea from Germany. That's right. I need to remind you, and this is KOOP 91.7 FM on your broadcast dial. And we're streaming worldwide off our homepage at KOP.org.